right guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're looking at hubs uh, specifically i've got a special hub to show you if you've watched other videos on the channel you've probably seen me talk about the novo hub uh, you've probably seen me talking about this hub as well this was one of the first hubs i think i even reviewed uh, when i had the ipad pro and the thing is why hubs are so special is with these new machines we're getting less and less ports so hubs are the secret combination to plugging more things in. However, these hubs have been pretty standard in terms of functionality. The hub I've got to show you today is very different. So let's take a look at it. So when I say very different, we can see the hub today is by a company called Blue Endless. Um, you might think, well, it doesn't look very different. They all look the same colour and they are all got like a metal casing on them, aluminium. However, with this hub you get two USB 3 ports, HDMI port, micro SD card and SD card slot, and a power delivery port, and then it's USB-C connection to your MacBook, iPad, or whatever you decide to connect to. However, as well as that, something that's interesting is if you slide it to, if you slide it through, When you open it up, you can actually put in an M.2 SSD drive. So that's the special thing that this hub does. It's not only a hub, it's actually an external hard drive as well, all in one. So what I used to do, I used to, if I grab my drive, I used to carry around an external hard drive like this when I'd go somewhere with my laptop. And then I'd used to carry around a hub to connect all my stuff in it. However, now I don't have to do that. I've got it in one small package. It comes in one small package like this. I can just slip it anywhere, it's super slim, slip it anywhere in my bag and I'm ready to go. You can uh, screw the bottom to make sure it doesn't fall out, but I haven't done that because it seems pretty stable. Uh, to get it out, you have to actually push it and then it comes out. So, so far it's been pretty good. And then when you order it, it comes in a box like this. Little film, it's got some screws to screw in the, uh, the SSD and it comes with a little screwdriver, that's everything you need. No really instructions or anything like that. You will need to, when you get it, you will need to format your drive. NVMe drives I don't think will work in this. You have to get an M.2 SATA drive and it has to be, I believe, a B key or a B&M key M.2 drive just because of the connection that's in here. So be careful of that because other ones will not work properly. They will not slot in. The power delivery we're getting here is a 60 watt power delivery. You get, like I said, USB 3. And the speeds I've been getting this, I'll show you on the screen now what kind of speeds I'm getting on this ADATA SSD drive. So if I plug it in now for you, it does come with a USB-C to USB-C cable as well. Anyone that has a low storage machine like an ipad or a macbook this will be perfect for that just because you can edit straight from the hard drive and you don't have to worry about the space that's on your actual machine just like on um on luma fusion and it is using ipad pros on luma fusion it allows you now to edit straight from the drive so let's select target drive external drive We'll do a two gigabyte file and let's check out the speeds that comes up. Now, of course, we're not expecting NVMe speeds like 1800, 2000, 3000 megabits per second. The speeds we're getting here is around 300 read and write, which for me is perfectly fine considering the external hard drive I was using anyway was a lot lower than that. And this is an all in one solution. There isn't a lot of these drives, however, there is a, there is different combinations. Some of them don't have the memory cards, they're just USB, but be sure that this one and any of the other ones I find that take uh, SSD drives in them, like M.2 drives. I'm going to put them in the links in the description box below so you can check them out. If you want to buy them, go feel free. Um, and there is another one that's on a Indiegogo Kickstarter, which looks kind of cool as well. So I'll put a link to that as well. I think I paid for this one around 30 to 
40 pounds so i don't know what the current conversion is for that but i got this one from aliexpress however i have seen some on amazon now popping up different kind of brands like i said i'm gonna link them below but this is a super super convenient product just because it's so everything is in one package so you don't have to fiddle about with bringing numerous things to you and uh, it's very convenient i'll put it that way it looks to be very well built as well so if you do drop it i don't think it will damage just because of the metal style finish and it matches the macbook in terms of uh, design so so far i've been using it works great if i do run into any issues with it i'll be sure to pop it in the comments box below just so you make you guys aware but at the moment that is definitely a go i would definitely recommend buying yourself one of these i know i've made hub videos in the past however i think this is so far the best hub that i've actually ever reviewed so i hope that's helped you hope you find that useful uh, like i said any links are going to be in the description box below so just check them out if you want uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, i'll catch you guys on the next one so see ya